Hi everybody, uh, we're working on um, some exponential and logarithmic word problems. Uh, these ones are involving bank accounts. This time, instead of giving you everything on the right hand side of the equation, just asking you to find out what's the final amount, we're going to work backwards and we're going to solve for either time or we're going to solve for the interest rate. So buckle up because it's about to get interesting. These problems are definitely tougher than the ones that we were doing in the first round of word problems a few days ago. Okay, so let's go through uh, first problem. Here we go. You invest $2,000 in an account. So $2,000 here is going to be the starting amount. We call that the principal. That's P. This account pays 1% annual interest. And so we're going to say that R here is not 1, but we got to convert that to decimal form. That's 0.01. This interest rate is compounded monthly, and monthly means it's 12 times per year, so N in our formula is going to be 12. The question is, how long will it take? So that's a time period, right? T is what we're solving for. For your investment to double. And so we kind of got to read between the lines a little bit. I put 2,000 in, and I want it to double, which means that my final amount, A, is going to be 4,000. So I've got everything I need in order to do this problem. Here we go. Um, a is equal to P times, we're going to use this formula here because it's not continuous interest, right? Um, 4,000 is equal to 2,000 times 1 plus, the interest rate is 0 0.01. If you mess up this formula, by the way, if you find out that your money doubles in like six days, it's because you put a 1 there, okay? That's drastically different than 0 0.01. you got to be very careful about that over n, which is 12, raised to the 12 times t. So what we have is we got to find a way to get that t by itself, correct? You're going to find out as I work through these examples that I always do the, the same thing the very first step. See, the problem is, is I need to get this stuff with the exponent, that's this piece right here, that's being raised to the power, I got to get it by itself first. And that means moving the p away. Okay, so my first step in every single one of the problems in today's homework is going to be dividing by the principal, in this case, 2,000. So 4,000 divided by 2,000 is 2. The 2,000s go away here. I'm left with some number raised to the 12t, right? And so let's go through and let's figure out what that value is. Um, if I have 0 0.01 divided by 12, I get this value. I'm going to add 1 to it. It's 1.00083333333. So I'm going to write 1.0008. And I'm going to put dot, dot, dot. See, it's very important for us that we do not round this value. There is a huge difference between rounding it to 1 and rounding it and, and leaving it like it is right there. Okay? So we got to leave it put. Okay? So you're, what we're going to do then, the next step is isolating the exponent, getting that exponent away from everything else. Okay? You might recall... Uh, a little a little backtracking here. Um, I have a piece of paper. Here we go. You might recall that whenever we did a problem like this, we said uh, 3 to the x is equal to um, uh, 27. Okay? The way that we solve the problem like this, if we needed to, is we would say log base 3 of both sides. And we chose 3 because 3 is the base of my exponent. And so that's why we chose this. And then what we could do is these two going away, and I have left with x equals. And then I could use change a base on the right-hand side to say log of 27 over log of 3. So let's apply the same concept here. What's the base? Let's figure that out, and let's do log base of that on both sides. Okay? So here we go. The base of this exponent here is 1.00833333, right? And I've left that on my calculator. So I'm going to do the log of that base on both sides. So log base 1.0008, so on and so forth, of 2 is equal to log base 1.0008 of 1.0008 to the 12t. The reason that I do that is for the same reason that I did it back here. See, when I did it on this problem, the log base 3 of 3 went away, and I'm left with just the exponent because of the same value. So here, notice that these go away. So I'm going to do a quick squat, scratch through, and I'm left with this. On the right-hand side, it's just 12t. So now, all of a sudden, that t isn't in the exponent anymore. On the right-hand side, I have the log of 2 over the log of 1.0008, so on and so forth. Okay, And that's still in my calculator. I haven't erased it. That's using the change of base formula. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to figure out what this fraction equals. And that's equal to 12t, remember? And so I'm going to take whatever I get for this number here, I'm going to divide it by 12, and that gives me t. 
So here we go on my calculator. I'm going to do log of 2 in the parentheses. Very important there to end the logarithm on top. Divided by the log of, and then I'm going to hit second. I'm going to hit the negative signs, and it's A and S right there, right? So it says log of 2 divided by the log of the previous answer. So now I have that unrounded 1.00883333, right? There's my fraction. It's 832. Now that's 12t. So it's 832.12, so on and so forth. Now I'm going to take that. I'm going to divide it by 12. And the answer is t is 69. And we can round it now. The very final thing is the only thing you can round here. 69.3 years. That's going to be close enough. And it's going to take you darn near 70 years to double your money. So congratulations on the $2,000 you earned over the course of 70 years. You should not get rich in any of these problems. If you find out that that answer was, um, was something like three days, you know, wouldn't that mean that everybody would be putting money in a savings account like this? Okay. So, um, so keep that in mind. There's the first problem. In the next video, we'll work on, you can see it right here, compounded continuously. How does that change situations?